Hi everyone, Damien Fate here, and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. Uh, but wait a minute, where am I? I am here, but I'm in first person mode. That's right, I've got a tutorial for you that will help you explore LEGO Worlds uh, for the first person perspective, so that you don't see your character anymore, but you get to go around and see things a little bit closer up and be able to get cool landscape shops like the one I opened with. Uh, before I start, I'm going to mention a few things though. This does require modding the files for your game and installing a couple of programs on your computer and I'm not liable for any problems that this may cause. So make sure to do backups first. <laughs> and also a big shout out goes out to GMR underscore Leon who discovered this technique and uh, sort of got the ball rolling for me to make this guide. So what do we do to make it work? First of all, we need to go and download a program called Quick BMS. There'll be a link in the description for that. Secondly, you also need to download a file called the ttgames.bms. Once again, I've left a link in the description for that. Extract the quickbms zip file into its own folder, like I have here, and then put the ttgames.bms file in with it. Once you've got them all together, drag and drop the ttgames.bms file onto the quickbms.exe folder. It will open up this. Now you need to navigate to your Steam folder where LEGO World is location, located. For me it's on my E drive, but for you it might be on your C drive. Then you need to find the game.dat file. Now I recommend making a copy of this before you start and save it somewhere important like your your documents folder or something because it's going to require deleting this file to make the entire thing work. So once you run extract on the game dat, extract it to the same folder as LEGO Worlds, the one it's currently in right now. And then when it's done, I've already done it because it does take a while. <laughs> when it's done, go ahead and delete the game dat file. Now, make sure you made a copy of this first because you're not going to be able to get it back without reinstalling the game. Now that that's deleted, go ahead and launch LEGO Worlds again just to make sure that everything's working. Go into your world, run around a bit. If it's working, then we can proceed to the next step. The next step is to go to the Stuff folder, which is a new folder extracted from the data. Go inside and go to Chase Cam, and then on foot.txt. Now this file is the one that we're going to have to change. Uh, by default it won't actually have the same numbers as what I have here because this is the modified version. But what you'll need to do is either change it to the numbers manually or use the link in the description to my version of the onfoot.txt file. And then replace it with the one that you currently have. So you can just go ahead and delete this one and put the new one in the folder. Now you'll probably have to relaunch your game. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it while the game is still running because it might not work. Uh, but once you get in, you'll see that you are now in the first person perspective. And we only changed the onfoot.txt file. So you'll notice if we go into a vehicle like I have laid out right here, the camera will go back to what you've been used to before. Uh, but if you get out of the vehicle, it will go back to the first person perspective. Anyway, you can change the vehicle and the other mounts if you want to, but I'm going to leave that to you. Have fun experimenting with it, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!